communications is a lifeline of emergency response. So if you do have connectivity, you have communications, and then with that, you're able to uh, respond a lot more efficiently. Bringing the technologists into this space where they can experience humanitarian action, and it gives them training necessary for having an effective response operation sometime in the future. We're trying to put them through the whole gamut from deploying in austere environments to setting up technologies that we use throughout disaster responses for communications, including things like wireless networks, um, data connectivity, voice services, and things of that nature. Facebook is at a disaster response training session because participating in providing connectivity after a crisis is something that is very closely related to the mission of the company. We're actively building a, an internal roster of Facebook volunteers. Our staff really give their hearts out, especially in times of need. We do provide access to highly skilled individuals who are able to provide a ton of capacity to this organization. Unfortunately, it's inevitable, but there will be more emergencies. There will be more natural disasters. And what we're doing, this training, is part of building the capacity of our future responders. I absolutely feel like I'm ready to be deployed. In just 48 hours, we had formed a team and formed the systems um, in place to get people connected. And we were certainly stretched to our limits, you know, physically and, and mentally. And I feel that the best thing is, you know, that we're much more prepared now to deploy. Uh, given the way, how well they actually simulated a real-life uh, disaster uh, response. This is not just a training for the Caribbean hurricane. The plan is to replicate this uh, across the other regions. Mm -hmm.